Hello and welcome back. In today's video I shall be uh, speaking about the uh, backlash in your milling machine uh, lead screws um, that can cause you um, errors when, when, when positioning holes and things. So um, join me behind at the mill and uh, I shall get on with uh, giving you the demonstration of, uh, of how to get more accurate holes. Join me over at the mill in a moment. Bye. Right, so here we are now at the mill. Um, this is a typical setup. I've got the, got, got the part in the bias and I've got a centering clock and I've actually um, uh, got it so that it, it reads, it reads uh, zero all the way around. So you say, right, okay, that's, that, that's fine. Um, away we go. So you, if you've got a DRO, you set your X and Y to zero and, and, and off you go with the whatever it is you need to do with it. But the, the, the biggest problem that you've got is, if you haven't got a DRO, um, is what you do about the backlash. Um, just because you've got this um, centred up now, you've absolutely no idea um, in what position that the, that the backlash is in, on the screws. I mean, one might be in the clockwise position, one might be in the anti-clockwise position, or it could be even um, that, you, that you've luckily enough got it to, got it to zero, and, it, and it's not... Uh, the, the, one of the lead screws actually hasn't got any pressure on it. So what you need to do now is, is to, is to um, um, if, if you was just going to bore a plain hole, no, no problem at all, just lock your slides up, change over to a boring head and bore it out. But if you wanted to say put um, um, pitch circle diameter uh, bolt holes around this, you must know where your, where your centre point is. So in, in, in the way to achieve that is to um, generally, I mean, it's up to you whether you whether you make out the um, the backlash in the clockwise position or anti-clockwise clockwise position. I mean, that that's your choice. But uh, what I what I always do is is make it. Um, although this machine's got a DRO on it, um, I still always work in, in in the in the clockwise position. So so what we need to do is is to rotate this round so that the the uh, the stylus is is at, is at the front, and then what we need to do is is to is to back away the um, uh, y. Let me see that the, the, the needle's gone backwards. Now, now what we need to do is is after after slackening off the dial, is to slowly bring it up until it reads to the zero position, and then set your dial to zero. And just to check that it's not moved, do that again. So away and come back and bring it up to the zero on the dial, and check that the that the indicator is still on zero. Now we need to turn that through 90 degrees. This is this is this is when working in in the clockwise um, uh, direction. If you're working in the anti-clockwise direction, you, you have to have the the stylus at the back. Do exactly the same with this. Back it away, and then bring it up, slacken off your um, dial, and then slowly bring it back until it reads zero again. Set your dial to, dial to zero. Just do a, a, a final check. Away again back up to zero on the dial and there we are and, and, and away you go um, so of course from that now um, you can you can do your um, coordinates for um, uh, pitch circle diameter or, or whatever you do I mean it's, I mean this 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 I mean this this is just a just a just a, 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 a sample I've got here but I mean say it was a plate that you was doing and you wanted to put other um, holes in different positions, you, 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 once you've actually set up um, from here and you've taken your backlash out, of course it's easy just to do X, Y coordinates and, and, and away you go. So um, that is assuming of course that your, um, uh, the backlash in your lead screws is, is um, less than 10 thou and that, you know, and, and you're working to, to um, standard engineering tolerances plus or minus 5 thou, but if you need to be better um, more accurate hole position than that. Um, I recommend that you um, look at another video that I've done on, on um, accurate milling setups, and that'll actually show you a much better way of, uh, of uh, you know, actually actually getting the, getting the hole position as, as accurate as you can. So um, I hope that's helped. Um, we'll adjourn this for now, and uh, I'll see you back in a moment. Bye for now. Bye. Well, I hope you. Uh, understood my ramblings there and got the general gist of uh, what it was all about. Uh, as I say, you, you must uh, ensure that you've, uh, if you haven't got a DRO, you must ensure that uh, you actually know 
where your lead screws are, you know, whether, whether the backlash has been taken out either uh, clockwise or, or anti-clockwise, you know, for, for all future moves. So, um, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, please like, leave me a comment. And until we meet on the next video, which is going to be very soon now, I've got another one uh, planned in the next day or two. Uh, grab your on the world. Please stay safe, well and happy. And catch you again. Bye.